Hi, in this tutorial section we're going to learn how to send ERC20 tokens using the Chainsafe Gaming SDK. In this case we're going to use the WebGL method and I'll go over what that means in a minute. But for now let's just take a quick look at the function no matter whether we're using this function by coding it or by using some type of uh, visual coding it helps to know what we're dealing with. So let's go ahead and scroll down the documentation under the WebGL section and we want to see this part here called um, send contract through WebGL. Send will execute a smart contract method altering the smart contract state. So when we send ERC20 tokens this will actually alter the smart contract state in some way because we're sending tokens from one to another and therefore it needs to record that process. So they have a working example here but we're going to build out our own. Let's take a look down a little further right to this uh, example here. This is what we're going to be using. And so these are some of the values that we're going to need to get. So we're going to need the name of the um, method to send tokens. We're going to need the string ABI. We're going to need the contract address and any arguments we want to add as well as the value, the gas limit, and the price. And we'll talk about all of these separately as we build it out. But the one place I do want to start and talk about first, which you may not be familiar with if you're new to Ethereum or blockchain, is this concept of string ABI. So string is the format and of the variable, and ABI is specifically what we're looking at. And you can see it's this really long string here that goes all the way over here that's like looks like a lot of stuff. So we need the ABI that is specific to this contract. So let's talk about ABI for a minute. This is a contract ABI specification, and we're here on the soliditylanguage.org website. This is the official documentation for Solidity. This is the coding language that's primarily used on Ethereum, as well as the Godwoken L2. Now why don't we just read the description here first. The contract application binary interface, also known as ABI, is the standard way to interact with contracts in the Ethereum ecosystem, both from outside the blockchain, so in this case, for example, from the game calling to the blockchain, which is what we're doing, and for contract to contract interaction. Now, an ABI is coded in JSON format. So it's always in the same format. We can see here the JSON description of the ABI. And what it does is essentially allows us to interact with the contract once it's been compiled because the contract language Solidity is a compiled language which compiles down to a type of bytecode, which then we can't really read uh, with human reading. And so in order to interact with us, interact with that, we use ABI that basically tells us what are the methods, what are the functions, what are the variables in this contract, and then allows us to call them. So when we're using this chain safe gaming um, SDK, it wants to know what the ABI is so it can interact easier with the contract which lives here at this address. Now we're going to be working with the ERC720 token on Godwoken that's called PCKB. So this represents CKB on the L2. And this is the contract of what it looks like. And this is a big long contract and you really don't need to know or memorize any of this to use it. But it also has the ABI here for this contract. And I'll leave a link so we can copy and paste this. But again, we don't really need to you know, memorize or understand this anyway. But we do need to be able to copy and paste this ABI to be able to use it. So for now, that's really the only important thing you need to know is that if you want to work with an ERC uh, seven, sorry, an ERC twenty contract, you know, to to send tokens or something like this, we need to make sure that we have the ABI to do it. So we can go ahead and copy this for later. One other thing to note when working with ABIs is the formatting can be a little bit wonky on some of them because it's in JSON and we need to escape some characters. And again, if you don't really know what that means, that's fine. We're going to go over it in a minute. But I suggest that you use a tool that I created to help this process. And if we go over to my repository, which is github.com backslash Eric Vanderwall, we can go ahead and click on repositories and choose this Unity blockchain tools. And from here, we can go code, 
zip and download the zip file. We're going to unzip that and drop it into Unity directly. And it should make sure that you have this editor file in your Unity, and then you'll have this ABI editor window. I've already gone ahead and done the process. So this is, I have quite a few things in my project already, but if we go to assets editor, this is where it should be. You'll have an ABI editor window. And we can go up to tools now, this will be new, and you'll have something called format ABI. And we'll use this a little bit later, but I just wanna make sure that you have this installed first so we can use it to format our ABIs later when that comes up. Great, okay, let's get into actually working uh, with the code itself.